O come, let us worship God and bow loud before the God who made us, for he is the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who led St. Josephine Bakita from abject slavery to the dignity of being your daughter and a bride of Christ, grant, we pray, that by her example we may show constant love for the Lord Jesus Christ crucified, remaining steadfast in charity and prompt to show compassion through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. When Solomon was old, his wives had turned his heart to strange gods, and his heart was not entirely with the Lord his God, as the heart of his father David has been. David has been had been to. By adoring Astrati, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Milcom, the idol of the Ammonites, Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not follow him unreservedly as his father David had done. Solomon then built a high place to Chemosh, the idol of Moab, and to Molech, the idol of the Ammonites, on the hill opposite Jerusalem. He did the same for all the foreign wives, who burned incense and sacrificed to their gods. The Lord therefore became angry with Solomon, because his heart was turned away from the Lord, the God of Israel who had appeared to him twice. For though the Lord had forbidden him this very act of following strange gods, Solomon did not obey him. So the Lord said to Solomon, Since this is what you want, and you have not kept my covenant and my statutes which I enjoin on you, I will deprive you of the kingdom and give it to your servants. I will not do this during your lifetime, however, for the sake of your father David. It is your son whom I will deprive. Nor will I take away the whole kingdom. I will leave your son one tribe for the sake of my servant David and of Jerusalem, which I have chosen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Visit us with your saving hope. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But they mingled with the nations and learned their works. They served their idols, which became a snare for them. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons. And the Lord grew angry with his people and abhorred his inheritance. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Humbly we welcome the word that has been planted in you, 
and is able to save your souls. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A read from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went to the district of Tyre and entered a house and wanted no one to know about it, but he would, could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed, and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our reading today, our first reading, shows the foolishness of Solomon, one who is known for wisdom. But towards the end of his life, he was not as wise, knowing God to be faithful, knowing God to be one who communicated with him and gave him all these good things, including his wisdom. He didn't choose wisely in following the Lord throughout his life to turn to these false gods. And this Syrophoenician woman, who is Greek and one who would have been a follower of many gods, as we know of the Greek pantheon of all the different gods really recognized the Lord in her midst and in recognition she chose wisely to come to the Lord and ask the Lord repeatedly to save her daughter being able to show that great faith in the Lord for her beloved and for us it is that wisdom that we need to take to ourselves to say it is wise to follow the Lord it's wise to struggle at times and overcome what might hold us bound, what might keep us from the Lord. That we are constantly knocking, constantly seeking, constantly asking that door to be opened to us by the Lord in prayer. But once more, staying faithful to that. That we're able to see in the Syrophoenician woman that consistency to say, No, I know this person, this divine person can do this for me. And so I will continuously act. Again, unlike Solomon, who had that faithfulness to the Lord, but then lost it. It is that opportunity to say, as we're reminded, to not grow weary of doing good, not grow weary of losing faith, not grow weary of that belief in God, but continually asking, continually seeking, continually finding in the Lord. My dear sisters and brothers, let's continually be on that journey of the Lord, knowing our Lord's faithfulness. Let us not grow weary, but continue to turn to that prayer and faith of the Lord, continue to turn to that love in our lives. For our Lord will answer because the Lord has answered. The Lord will uh, be good to us because the Lord has been good to us. So we're able to recognize our Lord's faithfulness in our lives in, at the present so that we might know our Lord's faithfulness in the future. My dear sisters and brothers, turn our hearts to the Lord. Let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For those who feel pulled by their friends to neglect their faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian spouses, that they may help guide one another to salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For young adults first encountering independence and decision making, may they find faith in communities that ground them in the love of Christ and the Church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For immigrants, may they find a welcome place in the towns and in the, our churches. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, especially young children, may they and their caregivers be filled with faith in the Lord's saving power. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Peggy Mishehi Vendel, uh, Mishehi Vendel, Mishehi Vendel, and for peace in our world, especially in Ukraine, as well as for Amelia Megayenas, as well as for Eduardo Casanova. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, may they be remembered by the Lord who favored his people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own intentions. For the end of abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all these prayers and those in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, Father of mercies, who sent St. Jerome and Liminani as a helper and father to orphans, grant through his intercession that we may persevere faithfully, that we may preserve faithfully the spirit of adoption by which we are called and truly are your children, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Bless be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be Great brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of the Lord and His name, for our good and the good of all His children. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministry to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. To you, with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul VI, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory, and the church, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Let not in our sins by the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and burn the sins. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world and burn the sins. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let them thank the Lord for his mercy, his wonders for the children of men, for he satisfies the thirsty soul, and the hungry he fills with good things. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for it. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Together, let's pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. Your Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Together let's pray the prayer to our Mother of Mothers, which is in that front cover of the blue jacket. Mother of Mothers, Mother, Holy Queen, chosen before all women to be the Mother of the Son of God, 
Mary, my mother, who in your maternity has so sanctified this state of holy motherhood, imploring thee I come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your own powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in needy I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your hands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid, dear Mother of all Mothers. Amen. Mother of all, pray for us. 